Hello and welcome to my video series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. In this video series, I will offer you a psalm to focus on, to enjoy this psalm and to bring peace and meditation into your own Christian walk. I offer this video not to so much explain the psalm, but to enjoy it as a tool of meditation to help you find your own calm and peace in God's Word. Psalms are wonderful to meditate upon and to look over to strengthen us as Christians. So let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and with strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and the capacity to know you and to feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon the word you have given us. It is in your son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. So today I want to look at Psalm 25. And let's look at this as a good meditation tool. So we get begin this meditation with a prayer to lift up our soul, to put total trust in God. It's difficult for us humans to give up control, and this is a reminder that it is God who is in control. And to start our meditation here by relinquishing our selfish goals to God. It is nothing to be ashamed of, this psalm continues on. Then we get a prayer request here. Make me know your ways, O Lord, teach me your paths. How would we be led down the right path unless we give up plowing forward to sit quietly, to wait for God to reveal his path? The prayer asks for God to use his compassion, his loving kindness. What a packed word, loving kindness. God is that loving, that kind, that good and upright. He instructs us sinners in the way and leads us down his path. And the key for us, humility. Again, giving up control, giving up pride, being humble, and we find the path. Look in the second column in this psalm. The prayer, con prayer continues in a plea for God to remember his compassion upon us, to remember not our older sins when we were young and didn't understand any better. The psalmist reiterates how good and upright is the Lord. God can lead us sinners into justice in his way, but only if we remain humble. We ask God to forget our sins, but we must be humble enough to remember that we are not perfect or beyond sin. This is important in our meditation, to be truly able to be led down his path. Let's look further into this psalm. The psalmist continues, all his paths are loving kindness. There's that word again. And more importantly, truth. And they are open for those who obey God. We ask for a pardon for the iniquities for the sins that we carry. Who is the man who fears the Lord, the psalm asks? Well, the answer is that he is one who will be guided by God, the one whose very soul will be prosperous, whose children will inherit the land. What is God's secret? It will be discovered by those who fear him, who respect him, so the psalmist continually keeps his eyes towards God because God will pluck his feet from the net. How about that fishing image? We get caught up in the school of fish, of the world that can be scooped up in the net, and God is there to pluck us out. And in the final verses, the psalmist asks God to turn to him. We ask God to be gracious to us, we are lonely. We are afflicted. Have you felt that way? Our heart enlarged with troubles? Here, thanks to the psalmist, we have a plea 
to God to bring us from our distress, to look upon our troubles, to forgive our sins. We can ask God to guard our soul when our enemies are many and their hate is heavy upon us. And lastly, we finish out returning to the thoughts of earlier. We should not be ashamed of our love of God. We ask to be preserved in God's integrity, being preserved by uprightness. We relax and patiently wait for the Lord. If you enjoy this series, please hit the thumbs up button at the bottom and also check out everything else we have on our YouTube page, including our Sunday morning Bible studies, which are live streamed and also available later for you to look at, as well as our Sunday morning worship services. And at 6 p.m., we post a further evening service with our minister, Mark, where he offers more songs and another lesson and the Lord's Supper if you need it. So until next time, keep Psalms and carry.